Hello everyone, this will be everything you need to know before the second season of Shadow and Bone. Alright, let's go. The series follows Alina Starkov, who's a map maker that is part of the East Ravka army. This army is special though because there's two parts to it. The first part is surprisingly named the First Army, which consists of foot soldiers and basically cannon fodder. These are your everyday muggles that have absolutely no magical powers, so in order to survive in the cruel world they're in, they join the army. The second part of the army is the Second Army. This is where you get all your benders that are known as Grisha. See, the Grisha have magical powers, but I like to call them benders because they usually only do one thing. They're literally like airbenders, firebender, but instead of bender, you'd call them Grisha. And probably one of the scariest Grisha, the bloodbenders, otherwise known as the heartrenders who can make you feel things and crush your heart. I'm scared because they're scary. And just like how everybody in this world faces discrimination, the Grisha are no different, except for the fact that they can easily unalive you. Anyways, Alina Starkov joins the first army in order to reunite with her old childhood friend, Mal. All you need to know about Mal here is that he would and will do anything in order to protect Alina. Because he loves her. Yeah. Anyways, there are three main problems that we face throughout the season. Problem number one is that there's a gigantic shadowy wall that divides East Ravka from West Ravka. And the shadowy wall is called the Fold. Inside this fold live a bunch of deadly creatures called Volcra. They unalive and eat anything and everyone that tries to go across. And they try to do the same with Alina, but she discovered that she's a wizard. You're a wizard, Harry. I mean, Grisha. It turns out that she's the legendary Sun Summoner, a Grisha powerful enough to be able to take down the Fold, as well as one shot the Volcra. Anyways, this brings into town the big bad problem number two, also known as General Kirigan. He is a shadow summoner. Long story short, he takes Alina to the palace. He tries to manipulate her. He would have gotten away with it too if it wasn't for his meddling mother, Bagra. You see, Bagra told Alina about her son's dirty secret, which is that the person that put up the fold years ago was actually her son, General Kirigan. He wants to use the fold as a weapon in order to rule over the world very ambitious. To do so, he needs the help of the Sun Summoner, or really just the Sun Summoner's powers, and he was easily able to do so thanks to an ancient magical stag. This stag is one of the few magical creatures created out of the bone of the first Grisha. When you kill and absorb these creatures, you gain a magical boost. But the Darkling, aka General Kirigan, was somehow able to use it to control Alina, one of the most disgusting necklaces I've ever seen. Jesus Christ! Anyways, he straps her onto a ship and tries to cross the fold in order to take over West Ravka. And while they're on the trip, let's talk about problem number three, which is arguably the best parts of the show, which is really just the Crows and Nina. You see, the Crows are a group of three people led by Kaz, who's very meticulous and a no-nonsense guy. We then have his right-hand woman, who's practically an assassin by the name of Inej, and Jasper, who's probably the coolest character in the show. Oh, and along with Milo the Goat. Anyways, they take a job that requires them capturing Alina Starkov. After realizing what Alina could do, they decide to help her, and somehow end up on the same ship that Alina is stuck on in the fold. Also, Mal is there because he would he would do anything for Alina. Which brings us to Nina, a heart render who gets captured by a bunch of witch hunters. One of these witch hunters is a guy by the name of Matthias. Long story short, the two end up falling for each other after surviving a shipwreck, and they decide to run away together. But before they can do so, Nina is forced to turn in Matthias as a slaver in order to save his life. But in doing so, Matthias no longer trusts Nina and believes that she betrayed him. You can say Nina the Heartrender is heartbroken. <laughs> I'll be here all week. Anyways, that's about enough time to go back to Alina. You see, all hell breaks loose when Alina and the others find out that the Darkling, aka General Kirigan, can expand the fold. Now I shall do mine. In doing so, Alina, Mal, and the Crows fight General Kirigan, and thanks to Alina fully absorbing that disgusting necklace, he was able to push General Kirigan back and he was snatched up by one of the Volcra. But of course, no body, no case. After that big battle, Kaz then comes up with a plan to travel to Ketterdam, where the Crows' base of operation is. And Kaz comes up with a plan that just so requires a heart render. Just how this all started, we're gonna need a heart render. And as luck would have it, they're on the same ship that Nina and Matthias are on. The season then ends with General Kirigan coming out of the fold, more powerful than ever. Follow. And yeah, I hope I answered all of your questions, but if I didn't, be sure to leave a comment. I read them all. 
Also, if you like that video and want to see more like it, leave a like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. And if you like that show, I think you might love this one. I don't know. Let me know how it goes. That's it.